guys, my name is Rico. Um, today we're gonna go over the postpartum yoga class that you can do um, with your baby around. Okay, so um, I'm gonna have some cautions here. If you have um, abdominal split, rectus abdomen split called diastasis recti and then definitely be careful check with your doctor midwives to make sure you're good to go to start your exercise and core exercise again okay so today we're going to be doing the uh, very um uh, gentle core exercise that target the uh, deepest layer of the core okay so transverses of nominee and as well as muscles activations so that um, even if you have the um, if you're recovering from the rectus abdominis split it might be safe to do but definitely check with your doctor or healthcare provider now you're gonna get um, something like the pillow or um, blanket or any of that ready okay I'm gonna use my little zabu little pillow here go ahead and lie down on your back okay once you lie down i want you to notice that there is a probably a gap between your lower back and the mat right now that's normal you have that little natural card here what happens with pregnancy is a lot of time this carbs goes a little bit too much as we've been really um, used to sticking our butt forward and hips forward. Yeah. So what we want to do is tuck our tailbone to point our tailbone towards your knees. Yeah. And squeeze your lower back to the ground. So press that belly button to the ground. So there is no gap between your low back and the mat. Yeah. Squeeze and keep breathing here. Try to press your belly button to the ground. Breathe. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, keep doing that and bring your feet off the ground. Bring your shins parallel to the ground, knees together, knees together, and keep doing the same thing. Now pull your belly button to your spine, press that lower back to the ground, tailbone curl up, so your tailbone is pointing towards your knee, and keep your shins completely parallel to the floor here and breathe. You should feel the gentle activation of the deepest layer of the core, almost like your spine muscles. <laughs> Yeah, it's good, it's good. Okay. Now, if you're good with this, go ahead and bring your feet up so your legs are straight up towards the sky. You have the L shape with your legs in your back. You're gonna point, kind of like a burpee toes, right? Like a high heels. Press your balls of your feet up towards the ceiling. Press up like you're really trying to touch the ceiling. Try not to bring forward towards your face, but rather straight up here. <laughs> yeah? And curl your tailbone towards your toes and lift up. So you're going to try to lift your tailbone off the ground a little bit. Press your lower back to the ground and keep breathing. Pull your belly button to your spine and breathe. Press up, press down here, breathe. Five breaths. One, two, three. Four, five. Okay. You can keep doing this with your knees bent or straight up. Okay. Keep breathing. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now, if you want to keep going a little bit more towards that advanced level, you can keep doing this. Bring your hands behind your head. Okay. Now, this might engage your rectus abdomen a little bit. So if you have the rectus abdomen split, diastasis recti, go ahead and just stay with your head on the ground. Otherwise, you can have an option to lift your head, elbows up towards the ceiling, and 
press the balls of your feet up towards the sky, towards the ceiling, and press up and keep breathing here. Once again, curl your tailbone and point your tailbone up towards your toes. One, two, three, four, five. Release. Mm -hmm. Take a breath. You can repeat. One, two, three, four, five. Release. Once again. One, two, three, four, five. And release. Good job. You can rest as much as you need. Now I'm going to show you the variation with the pillow or some blankets. You can prepare the thickness, something that has the thickness of like a, uh, when you squeeze the blanket in between your thighs, it's like your legs gonna be the hips sweat. Yeah. Okay? Now you're gonna squeeze this blanket or pillow between your thighs, squeeze your knees towards that and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Okay? So what you're doing is really activating your psoas muscles and your inner thighs as well. Okay, squeeze and bring your knees above your hips. Keep your shins parallel to the floor and do the same thing. Curl your tailbone towards your knees. Okay, curl in so you have no gap between your lower back and the mat and curl. Press your lower back to the ground, pull your belly button to the ground and squeeze your pillow. And breathe here for one, two, three, four, five, okay? If you're okay with this, you have an option to straighten your legs once again. Press the balls of your feet up towards the sky. Once again, you're not gonna wanna bring your legs towards the ground, but rather straight up to the sky, 90 degree angle with your legs. Squeeze the blanket or the pillow and point your tailbone up, lift your tailbone off the ground a little bit, Press your lower back down to the ground. One, two, three, four, five. Now option to stay doing this, or you can lift your head off the ground and press up. One, two, three, elbows up, four, five. Release. Once again, squeeze and lift up, point to, uh, press the balls of your feet up, squeeze the plumpets. One, two, three, four, five, down. And you can do this one more time. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly release. Okay. Now you're going to bring your feet even closer to your back. Lift your heels off the ground. Squeeze, keep squeezing the pillow or the blanket. Squeeze and lift your hips off the ground. Okay. Now you're going to lift your tumble up as much as you can and lift your chest up a little bit. We go your shoulders under and keep breathing here. Keep breathing here for five breaths. One, two, three, four, five. Keep on your toes. Just release your hips down just a little bit and lift up once again. Squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, lower down and lift. One, two, three, four, five, and slowly come down. Go ahead and release the blanket or the pillow that you had, and you can do the same thing once again without it, yeah? So keep your legs nice and strong, but this time we're gonna really focus on that um, your hamstring and glutes, the connection points of those muscles right behind your butt here. So lift that point, lower down, lift your point and lower down. One, two, three, 
four, five, drop your heels and push your hips up once again, and slowly lower down, great job. Go ahead and release your legs forward and stretch your arms back, stretch your whole body. Bring your knees into your chest, hug your arms, hug your legs into your chest, chin towards your chest. Now, happy baby, grab onto the outside of your feet, outer edge of your feet. Bend your knees, pull your knees to the outside of your ribs and pull your knees down towards the ground. Draw your tailbone down towards the ground as well so your spine is nice and long and breathe. And release your legs. Completely relax. Feet just relax, hands by your hips, take a breath in. And release out. You can rest as much as you like here in Shavasana. Okay, so it was a really quick exercise for more classes and more full length classes from beginner level, opinyasa, ashtanga, prenatal, postnatal. Check out my online channel and see you there. Thanks.